is The Sim Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, but the real star today show, I'm not even going to do the intro that way. You see I have my rant hat on. So I was away from the studio yesterday, and my email and messages lit up from people telling me, hey, you're not going to believe what's going on with Mike at Sim Racing 604, and it's something that strikes a nerve with me. So, so that's where things started. I'm going to take the rant hat off, and I'm going to change my perspective and tone just a little bit here. And now I'm going to say, you know, power to the people. I'm going to say, thank you, sim racing community. I'm going to say thank you to people like Billy Strange of Billy Strange Racing on YouTube, who took the time to make a video about this topic. And in case you don't know, I'll get to it in just a moment. I'm going to say thank you to guys like Chris Hay who were quick to make a video on the topic. I'm gonna say thank you to guys like Empty Box, who were quick, and many, many, many other YouTube streamers who I didn't name, but just quickly, that's a bunch of people. So what went on? And again, what went on? Mike, and today I'm gonna take the time to promote Mike and SimRacing604, because he's one of the greatest content creators. As Billy Strange put it, one of the greatest assets to the sim racing community that there are. Uh, for us and and you know, we're all lucky to have him. He was in a copyright battle with a company called Sim Dream a Development. They make mods for Assetto Corsa and other things. And I'm not getting into that. I'm not going to even touch the topic. It was so eloquently put by Billy Strange. Not only did he tell you what was going on very perfectly, not only did he cover the legal aspects of what was going on, not only did he tell you of how it was being done wrong or, or falsely or, or pro improperly used and how it was impacting us, the sim racing community and a YouTube favorite of many of us directly. Uh, and not only did he tell you that, but he told you what to do and how to do it. Uh, because of guys like Billy, because of guys like Chris, because of Empty Box, my, uh, not myself, I'm, I'm Johnny Come Lately, so I'm here to applaud the community. Because it was the community going to places like YouTube in a, in a civil manner, bringing it to their attention. It was the sim racing community perhaps even bringing it to the attention of Sim Dream Development who filed the strike against Sim Racing 604 that was going to literally take him off the air. So I'm here to thank the sim racing community because of the active response of YouTubers of sim racers, of the community, today we get this. So as I was getting ready to put that rant hat on and be screaming just like everybody else, I'm here to applaud us all instead. Sim Dream contacted me. This is posted by Sim Racing 604 one hour ago. Contacted me. Tough to cram into limited characters, but here goes. They're contacting at Team YouTube to have the strikes rescinded. They're also going to announce new policy regarding their mods and using the work of others, which means this has had a two-part benefit. Uh, part number one, uh, there's no reason on earth Sim Racing 604, one of the greatest assets to the Sim Racing community, would should be off the air for having an opinion and thoughts on things. Period. End of story. And on top of that, it's really great that modding communities are going to set policies that let you know what's going on. So we were heard. This is big, and thank you all. So I want to thank everybody out there for supporting Mike at Sim Racing 604. I want to thank everybody out there for standing for right and wrong. And I want everybody out there to pat themselves on the back for having an impact. Uh, today is a really big day. These are the kind of things that happen. It's going to happen at a more accelerated rate as, as the, the communities change and, and more money pours into sim racing. This is going to become more common, not less common. And I think it's really great that the community was very quick. And, and I think as Billy Strange put it in his video, civil. Uh, if you just scream, if you just yell, if you just swear, if you just send messages to the wrong places in the wrong ways just doesn't matter but when you do it right when you do it collectively at a group and you contact the right individuals and you talk to them in the right manner or make the right kind of posts with the right kind of people addressed to it that the end result is people realize 
that an outrage is out there, a, a swell, a tidal wave of, of community negativity is coming your way unless you do something about it. So I, 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 you know, in this case, I don't know the intricate details and I'm not gonna get involved in that. And it was so well put or covered by all the other media houses. Anyway, I am so glad that things have worked themselves out or see, seem to have worked themselves out. And again, I wanna thank the community. I wanna thank all the YouTubers out there and anybody I didn't name. I'm, I'm sorry, I mean, the list is, is tremendous and I was very, very late on this. Uh, so I, I'm really glad that when I came in to do this, instead of having to just go on a, 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 a hate-filled rant, which is what it would have been, that I got to instead uh, give you the good news that we were, we were heard. We were heard as a community. You were heard as a community. You had an impact, and one of the greatest resources and assets to sim racing, Mike at Sim Racing 604, uh, is is back in business, so to speak. So thank you all so much. And again, I'm happy to give you that good news. And uh, that's going to do it for this one. I think this is a topic that we're going to have to bring into three wide this coming Saturday at the Sim Pit with me, Amir, and Devin. Uh, we had a few topics we want to talk about, but I think we're going to have to talk about this very topic as well um and and not so much what went on and get involved in that as much as uh the dmca and the whole potential of, of channels just being taken off the air uh i think i've covered as well as i can if you want to hear the intricate details definitely go check out billy strange he i think he put it as as perfectly as summarized what was going on uh even for the future if you want to understand dmca and what goes on to YouTubers and the risk that they run in and what's going on and who they're against, go watch that video by Billy Strange Racing. Uh, it was titled, oh, um, Sim Racing 604 is being silenced by Sim Dream's false copyright. Uh, even if you remove 604 and Sim Dream from this, if you just want to understand the process of false copywriting and... You know, there might be other times where you have to come to the defense of a different streamer, YouTuber, Twitcher, uh, and, and this would show you exactly the how-to on how to do it right and be effective. So thank you, Billy. Thank you, everybody. That's going to do it for this one. This is the Simpit on a very proud day. I'm Sean Cole, and I'll see you on the track.